Hello everyone, this is my reaction video to yesterday's ISC Second Life. The new addition of the planetary nav mesh makes the designer able to put uh, life on the location. Before it was just kind of a ship just there on the ground, but what we wanted to do is to create a link between the ship and the environment around. Pause. We are getting a mission with a derelict reclaimer wreck and NPCs walking around. I am looking very forward to this. A few thoughts, this looks great, but it's handcrafted and this took most likely many, many hundreds of man hours. How will the achieve fail a universe with 100 star systems? Yeah. And not a thought is, why not just? I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. I mean, we could drop bombs and we could drop mules and I'm pretty much sure that the wreck itself is totally indestructible. We don't have any environment damage yet. And of course, it wouldn't be a bad idea to come at night and use sniper rifles because those NPCs are wearing the same armor we do with a lot of lights on them. For us designers, a lot of opportunity to make the location more FPS friendly with cover, more like mission friendly, so we can add stuff on top of that. When you will arrive at the, at the crash, you will see a big trail on the ground. So if you look behind the ship, you will see all the big tree, but in, in the trail, all the trees will be small and we, we're going to have just small rocks and grass and it's the purpose the ship was there. When you go back in the ship, because you will be able to go back in the ship, you will rediscover the ship as you were before, but in the older version. That tell a, a lot of story about uh, the old technology, kind of giving a second life to the ship. We got an update on the planetary nav mesh now on the planet, so we are allowed to put AI on the ground. Pause. This is very interesting. They got an update on the planetary nav mesh, so now they can put AI on the ground. And I hope, I am sure we will see a lot more of this. Again, this looks very, very beautiful. This looks like a very interesting mission, but this took easily more than 1000 man hours, I'm sure. So how many of those are we getting each year? How many can CIG afford? And how will CIG fill 100 star systems? Yeah, NPCs are using the same armor we do with all those lights that you cannot turn off. So I guess it's a good idea to come at night and use sniper rifles. Siege of Orison is an event where we take away all of your most overpowered toys, which are your ships, but you actually have to use your reactions and your guns and your teammates to hopefully survive this perilous encounter. We wanted to do what for FPS combat we did for ship combat with Xenofret, push it to its extremes. So without spoiling the event, uh, the Siege of Horizon is a dynamic event which takes place around Horizon on some floating platforms owned by Crusader. And, you know, we shuttle players in to help out Crusader take back their islands. Pause. Horizon or Horizon? I find it very funny that even CIG doesn't seem to know what the correct pronunciation is. I guess it's Horizon. We get a new mission on Horizon. I made a video about this, and this can be another very interesting mission, but... Again, it's handcrafted. It took many, many hundreds of man hours. How many of those can we get in a year? How many can we get in each star system? I think CIG needs a different solution for this problem. The event is primarily a PvE mission. There are systems in place to discourage PvP. It's not something we protect against because we want the players to protect themselves from it. We're not discouraging it, but we're not actively supporting it yet. Pause. There's a PvE mission and there are systems in place to discourage PvP. What systems? What do you want to do? Do you want to give players a crime stat? There are people who have a lot of merits and who don't care. I'm sure this mission will get abused by people who just want to grieve. 
The main challenge, or the main challenges, were performance. By moving it far enough away from like the center, the city of Horizon, we managed to um, avoid most of that. Pause. So the reason this is so far away from the main hub is because of performance, but you have to go to the Crusader building, you have to wait for an elevator, you have to ride an elevator, you have to go to the shuttle station, you have to wait for the shuttle, and then you have a three minutes shuttle ride. Not good, if you should die, you can do it all over again. And I'm not so sure yet if you lose your equipment in this PvE area. I haven't tested this yet. I, I want them to see all the effort that has gone into like healing and gunplay and AI over the years. Pause. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but gunplay is still very bad in Star Citizen, especially Sprat is way too much. Look at this, I did this a few weeks ago, it's an SMG, yes, SMGs are not the most accurate weapons in real life, but this spread looks like the spread of a son of shotgun. Yeah, it's really terrible. I think CHG should look at some other games, even very old ones, and get some inspiration how to make good gunplay. This was my reaction video to yesterday's ISC, Second Life. I hope you found this interesting and see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Starting self-destruct. I hope I wasn't too early. I might have been too early. Nope. <laughs> I landed exactly on top of the steel and destroyed her. Hey, you are still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Camoral underscore SC.